A question that I'm often asked is, why are you so awesome? And also, does the equilibrium constant change with temperature? The short answer is yes, but the equilibrium constant does not change by much as the temperature changes. Let me show you exactly why that is mathematically. KEQ, or the equilibrium constant for a reaction, is the ratio of the forward and reverse reaction rate constants, or little k. Uh, this is the reverse reaction. If you remember kinetics, the rate constant, according to the Arrhenius equation, is an Arrhenius factor times e to the negative activation energy over RT. Now I'm going to denote the activation energy of the forward reaction with this little f, and the activation energy of the reverse reaction with this little r. What you'll notice immediately is that when you're comparing these two expressions for KEQ, the A's cancel each other out, and you're dividing two numbers with the same base. May I remind you of an exponent law, where if you divide two numbers with the same base, you subtract the exponents. So we can combine these. We get E to the negative EA of the forward reaction over RT minus negative EA of the reverse reaction over RT. I'd like to point out the two minuses cancel each other out, make a plus, and we can factor out 1 over RT from each of these. E to the 1 over RT. When you factor out the 1 over RT, you're left with negative EA of the forward reaction plus EA of the reverse reaction. I'm just going to reorder those terms. Activation energy of the reverse reaction minus activation energy of the forward reaction. All right, look. KEQ clearly depends on T. As T gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this exponent gets smaller and smaller and smaller as in closer and closer to zero. One thing that I'd like to point out for you kinetics fans is that if you take the ln of both sides of this equation, you're going to end up with the ln of the equilibrium constant and 1 over RT, EA of the reverse reaction minus EA of the forward reaction. How can you undo division by RT? By multiplying by RT. Ooh, does RT ln K ring a bell for you? It should. I believe it's related to negative delta G. Now this isn't strictly accurate at all times because entropy and enthalpy both play a role, but this is not an accident that RT ln K is related to the fact that the equilibrium constant depends on temperature. Best of luck in your own endeavors.